This is a story, a fantastically true story, from the files of Herbert A. Philbrick, who for nine frightening years did lead three lives. Citizen, communist, counter-spy. And who has now revealed for the first time his secret files concerning not only his own activities, but also the current activities of other espionage agents. For obvious reasons, the names, dates, and places have been changed, but the story is based on fact. Herbert Philbrick brings you the story of the counter-spy who was forced to double as a professional killer for the party. Herb, you still insist on going through with this? Jerry, I've got to. Well, then I'm going to have my men keep a close watch on that meeting in the lumber yard. Well, warn them not to let themselves get spotted. These are dangerous commies. We know it. Yeah. Are there any other kind? Uh, Herb, if you're not out of that meeting in a half hour, I'm going to have my men move in and break it up. Jerry, you can't do That's that. That's the way it has to be, Herb. I'm sorry. I'll meet me back here in an hour. When you work for the party, you work in constant fear. You never know who's breathing down your neck. You never know who's trying to climb to the top over your body, Philbrick, if necessary. becomes necessary. Now, a new policy directive has just arrived. We are to eliminate from the party all those who show signs of deviation. The party is interested in the number of its loyal members, but more important, in their quality. We must prune from our ranks all those that are undesirable. And those that remain will be the hard core, which will be ready to strike when the day arrives. And that day will be sooner than the rest of the world realize. What's going on? You were staring at me. Well, I... I thought I recognized you. I have never seen you before in my life. Why do you stare at me? Sorry. Comrade Herb, why do you say this lady looks familiar to you? I don't know why she looks familiar to me. I, I just have the feeling I've seen her someplace before. I don't know where. I... Comrade Herb, have you ever been in Moscow? No. Have you ever been in any part of Russia? No. Then he must be mistaken. Now let's get down to the business at hand. Comrade Alfred, there are 14 members in your cell. One of them is an FBI informant. Which one? Why, I can't believe it. any member of my cell is an informant. I, I know them all personally. They're all good communists. But one of them could be an informant. I want you to study the members of your cell. Select five for elimination. Give the list to Louise. Elimination? What do you mean, elimination? Don't worry, comrade. They'll be replaced by new recruits. Is that all? For the moment, yes. Comrades, you will do the same for the people in your cells. Five names. Some more paper, Louise. Certainly, comrade Tanner. Look, comrade, why am I at this meeting? Why not? 
Well, I can understand the presence of the others. They're all cell leaders, but why am I here? We have plans for you, Comrade Herb. Comrade Tanner, this might interest you now. Yes, Comrade Herb, we have big plans for you. You will all receive further instructions within 48 hours. You weren't fooled one bit, Philbrick. That routine about a purge is for your benefit. Something else is going on here. But what? Better get back to Dressler. No, Jerry. But you're right. Something big is brewing. Comrade Tanner seems to be setting up a purge. We've been expecting it. Last month, two comrades were liquidated. Both of them in the same city. Both had given us confidential information. And both of them were met accidental death. Mm. Great. And Tanner said he had special plans for me. Well, what else did he say? Not much. But each of the local cell leaders had to give him a list of five names, possible FBI leaks. You think you might be a candidate? Logical, isn't it? Whoever the candidate is, he's important. Important enough to warrant the services of a special NVD plug ugly. Soviet secret police, eh? Can you describe him? Yeah, he was about, oh, he's six feet tall, dark hair, sallow complexion, answers to the name of Gregor. He's got a girlfriend, brunette, mid-30s. I wasn't able to get her name. Thank you. For what? Well, you're the first one who's been able to give us a line on this. Yeah. You gonna pick him up? I hate to admit this, her, but we weren't able to keep as close a watch as I had hoped on that meeting in the lumberyard. But I doubt very much if you're a candidate for elimination. Wish I could be as certain. If you were, you would be the last to know. Yeah, I suppose so. Just the same, I'm plenty worried. I don't mind admitting it. We'll try to be there if you need us. Do not worry. Your wife is not here. What do you think you're doing? It is obvious. I'm searching your desk. Do you still think you've seen me someplace before? I told you that was a mistake. Did you find what you were looking for? No. Comrade Tanner said you could be trusted. I had to be sure. Now we will talk. You listen, I talk. Then you do what I say. I'm listening. We will talk about comrade Alfred Embers, who is soon to be ex-comrade. You, Gregor, and I have been assigned... Now, wait a minute. If you think you're getting me involved in a party murder, you've murder got Murder is a very nasty word, comrade. You and I will visit your friend. You will just talk to him nicely. You are his friend. He will not suspect you. Then you will take him to a place where Gregor can do his job. And what will you do? I will watch you, comrade. I will watch you. Well, look, comrade, don't you think that my friendship for comrade Alfred might influence my efficiency? Friendship for a traitor? Do you know what he has done, this comrade Alfred? He has informed on the party to the FBI. His time is up and he knows it. He bought a train ticket for tomorrow morning one way. We cannot let him go. Look, I think you better get yourself another boy. I'm willing to serve the party any way I can, but I don't intend to become a hired killer. Comrade Herb, no one's asking you to become a hired killer. All you have to do is talk to the man. Well, why choose me? There must be lots of comrades that are better qualified for this kind of assignment. No, you're the ideal man for this assignment. Comrade Alfred believes you to be his friend. He trusts you. We need that for our accident. Come on, let us go. How do you get out of this one, Philbrick? 
Any moment now, you expect the alarm clock to awaken you from this bad dream. Anna may resemble a nightmare, Philbrick, but this is no dream. I'm Collins, the inquiring photographer for the Morning News. Today's question is, can federal aid help solve the teacher shortage which exists in our schools? Did you take my picture? Well, yeah. You and this gentleman. It'll appear opposite your reply in the paper. Now, what is your opinion of federal aid? I do not have an opinion. Impossible. Everybody's got an opinion on that subject. Now, just what do you think about... You heard the lady. Why don't you run along? Okay, I'm sorry I bothered you. Get that camera. He must not have my picture. But do not stand there, get it! Hello, I'm Collins, the inquiring photographer from Morning News. Can you uh, tell me what is your opinion of federal aid in respect to uh, what or not it is? Morning News? Who is your inquiring photographer? Arthur Collins. No, I just wanted to know if he published the photographs of citizens who had no comment on the question of the day. Oh, sometimes. Thank you. There is such a person as the inquiring photographer. His name's Collins. I do not believe it was an accident. This is a large city, many streets, many people. Why should he take my picture? And mine. You are not important. You live here. Comrade Anna, you're becoming confused. I do not understand your fear. When the job is done, you will be sent elsewhere. If anyone should be upset about his picture in the papers, it is not you, but Comrade Herb. The strength of the secret police is anonymity. No one must know who I am. And no one does. You didn't give your name to this Collins. If he publishes your picture, so what? If Comrade Alfred leaves town, important information goes with him. Therefore, the job must be done tonight. I will wait here. This is the break you've been looking for, Philbrick. Time to contact Dressler. I heard. Never before have I had this difficulty. From the beginning, I did not trust him. Comrade Herb? Yes. If Free really does remember you from someplace before, and if he should remember, Follow him. Find out where he goes. You've got to stop the murder of an informer, Philbrick. You wonder who'll be looking out for you when your time comes. Well, so far, so good. Dressler's waiting for you. Hurry it up. Gregor! What do you do now, Philbrick? Pretend you're out for a stroll? No, you've got to get to Dressler. Try to lose Gregor. about your lady friends. How did you know what? The inquiring photographer is one of my boys. But Jerry, the commies checked the paper. The paper knew what to say. Oh. Well, anyway, her name's Anna, and she's no lady. Her boyfriend, Gregor, was tailing me, but I lost him. Are you sure? No, I think so. I ducked in the front of my office building and out the side. You certainly took an awful chance, Herb. Well, I figured this was sufficiently important. You're right, Herb, it is. Her name isn't Anna. The name is Hilda Meister, better known as the Witch of Dachau. We've been looking for her ever since the Allies chased the Nazis in 1945. She's a Nazi? She was. Now she's a comrade. That would explain why she got so hysterical when her picture was taken. 
and why she jumped down my throat when I stared at her on our first meeting. Oh? When she asked me why I was staring at her, I said it was because she seemed familiar to me. Gregor was about to chop me down when Comrade Tanner stopped him. From what he said, I don't think Tanner's aware of her Nazi background. Well, let's play up the fact that she looked familiar to you. She's a brunette now, but she used to be a blonde. The American Army has posters with her picture in almost every European barrack. What would happen if you remembered? I don't know if I'd have time to make the play. She and I were on our way to Alfred Ember's house to cause an accident. Seems that he's planning to skip town in the morning. Your inquiring photographer stopped us temporarily. We were going to finish the job tonight. Oh, that does give us a problem. Alfred Embers has given us a lot of valuable information. We owe him protection. But if we tip him off now, they'll trace the leak to you. Herb, you've got to get to Tanner and convince him that you remember this Hildemeister. Okay. There's one other thing, Jerry. Yeah. She's suspicious. She's pretty sure that your inquiring photographer is a police stooge for the FBI. Oh. Well, then we'll have to print that picture. And Herb, what are you going to tell this Gregor if he asks you where you disappeared to? I don't know. I'll think of something. Well, I hope it's good. He has quite a record. That's one boy we we're trying to stop. heard you say that. I haven't made a mistake like that in a long time. At first, Comrade Herb, and just staring at me, saying I look familiar. Then that photographer. Too many things are going wrong, all wrong. Anna, Anna, you got to start thinking clearly. Comrade Herb was on his way to a contact. Police? Or the party. You know what that would mean. They should find out who you really are. We must get rid of Comrade Herb. When? Tonight, after we eliminate Alfred Embers. When you called, you said it was important. I said it might be. Let's not play with words, get to the point. Well, ever since I saw Comrade Anna, I've had the feeling that I've seen her someplace before. I've been trying to figure out why. Go on. Well, it seems crazy because you said she's never been outside of Russia until she came here. That's the report I was given. Well, then she must have a sister who looks enough like her to be her twin. She has no sisters. Just where did you see this girl? It was while I was in the army in Europe. I didn't exactly see her. I, I saw a photograph on posters. And I can't remember what it said on those posters. It, it bothers me. Shall I tell you what bothers you, comrade? You are looking for an excuse to get out of this assignment. Well, it won't work. Comrade Gregor called just before you arrived. He had followed you, but you disappeared. Where? Well, that's ridiculous. I was right in my office building. But not in your office. No, I was calling on a client in his office. Never mind. But from now on, you will follow instructions. Do I make myself clear, comrade? Yes. We've just received information that Comrade Alfred plans to leave on a seven o'clock plane. We won't have time to wait until nightfall. Anna will pick you up at your house in half an hour. Yes, Comrade. Now go. I'll pay the check. Hello, I'm calling in regards to that European connection. Did you make the deal? No. And the time of our previous commitment has been moved forward. When? Almost immediately. I'm leaving right now to meet my partner at my house. Can you delay it? I don't see how. Can you do anything? Not at the moment. Well, what do you want me to do? You just have to carry the ball alone for a while. 
We'll try to figure something, but don't count on it. You heard the man, Philbrick. You'll have to carry the ball on this one, and there's nobody to run interference for you. An anonymous phone call to Comrade Alfred, and you and Anna walk into an empty house. No, that's too pat, and it could be a trap. You've got to see it through. We came early. We made ourselves comfortable. I hope you don't mind. Would it matter if I did? You do not like me. I sure don't like this assignment. First one is always the most difficult. This is how we build our bright new world. Oh, the filler's off. I'm disappointed in you, comrade. I understood that you were a man of action, not a dreamer. Dreamers build their own nightmares, while I and those like me will build and shape the world. Can't you understand, comrade? You have been honored with the opportunity to build this world, and you sink in the morass of your own stupid dreams. Throw your dreams away, comrade. Accept reality. You know something? I have my doubts that you're real. What do you mean by that? Whatever you choose to make of it, comrade Anna. There's something stuck in your throat. Spit it out. No, you're mistaken. Shouldn't we be going? It can wait. So you think you've seen me someplace before. Do not lie. Comrade Tanner called me after your nice chit-chat. Did he tell you everything I said? Everything. Yeah. But the girl I remember was a blonde. You're a brunette. Now. Yes, I was a blonde. Perhaps I am the girl you know. Why are you so interested in me? Who are you? We both know who I am. But how many people know who you are, Hilda? Hilda Meister? No, not here. We'll take him to Embers as we planned. What's going on here? Uh, I have just discovered that Comrade Herb is a traitor, a member of the fascist police. And how did you discover that? I... Perhaps Comrade Herb can tell me. You bet I can. No. Get did you say something, Comrade Anna? Well, Comrade Herb, speak your piece. I just remembered where I'd seen Comrade Anna. Do not believe his filthy lies. Her real name is Hilda, Hilda Meister. She used to be known as the Witch of Dachau. Dachau? Yeah, she was quite a little Nazi. I was a good Nazi, and so was Gregor. And now we are good comrades, which is more than I can say for you, you weak-livered bourgeois. Well, do we stand like this all day? Or do we get rid of Herb and Alfred? It will be like stepping on flies for me and Gregor. We are good comrades. Do you hear? Good comrades. Good comrades. Wait till that picture of you hits the morning paper. If I recognize it, so will the FBI. Then what good will you be to the party? Stand right where you are. You are a fool, comrade Tanner. You'll need all the help you can get if you expect to conquer the world. There are too many stupid bourgeois like... She was right, Philbrick. The comrades will need all the help they can get to conquer the world. And the free people will need all the help they can get to prevent it. I told you to take the ball and you ran for a touchdown with it. Too bad I wasn't there to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, never mind about me. What's going to happen to Hilda Meister? We caught her and Gregor just as the party was about to whisk them out of the country. They'll stand trial for murder here in the USA and later for war crimes instead of being quietly eliminated by the party. Won't that involve me? No, why should it? We caught them, or rather you exposed them, before they had a chance to do anything in this city. What about the inquiring photographer? Your picture appears in the late editions of the news. Just my picture? Just your picture. And you look real good, Herb. Real good. trained memory helped him uncover the identity of a dangerous enemy of the free world. Next week, 
we'll bring you another story from the files of Herbert A. Philbrick. The kind of story that could only be told by a man who for nine fantastic years served as a counter-spy for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Thank you.